Love you too. Got nothing to do. So I put me a front air foil in the front of my slash. Throw the wheel up, still waiting for that. I forgot the name of the piece. It was just the one little plastic piece. And this will be back on the road, so I added a big wing on the back, crate and wing on the back. Put that in the front. See if that keep it down. X Max sitting. I gotta check out the servo. Something I'm up to. Servo arm came off because I can hear the servo moving. I just have two screws that are stripped down in there, so I can't take the front module out to get to the daggone uh, steering servo. So that's been sitting there for a minute to figure a way to get that without destroying the, the frame. Okay, get that back on the road hopefully pretty soon. But just working on this. Um, think it'll work. Yeah, it's gonna hit the front of that, keep it down for sure. And I usually have a Typhon body on this. Either the Typhon body or this body. Both of them work pretty good. This one looks like it'll fly like a flying saucer just about, but there's no left air is all through that. Cutouts in it, even in the front of it, on the hood of it, down the back of it. The air, the whole back end is chopped off, so it's gonna look pretty good once it gets back to working. Get that crazy scoop in the front. Uh huh. Alright, you two. Peace. Tell me what you're working with and put it on the ground. It's the slash arrow, y'all. What I call it, that slash arrow. That's the rear of it. I got you know, the double shocks on it. Yes, sir. Go with the body. Lower the body down a little more. All the way down. Just bring that body mount down to the, the shock tower. Mount to the shock tower. If I got like a half an inch to come down, that'd be good. I had wheels that ballooned on here, that's why I had it up so high to come for the ballooning of the wheel, but hey, phones don't do that, so we good. That's it, y'all, slash arrow.